If you've ever dealt with a narcissist, the worst thing you can do is neglect the different tactics they use to try to control you. On one side, there's the excessive affection called love bombing. On the other, there's emotional manipulation where they mess with your feelings. These tricks are like a dangerous puzzle in bad relationships. Knowing them isn't just smart, it's essential to protect yourself. In this video, we delve into the world of narcissistic behavior and the seven strange tactics narcissists employ to manipulate you. The first one we will talk about is narcissists overwhelm you with affection. So, have you ever met someone who's just over-the-top affectionate right from the get-go? Like, they shower you with compliments, gifts, and talk about how amazing you are all the time. That's what we call love bombing. It's when someone lays it on thick with affection, attention, and sweet talk, making you feel like you're on cloud nine. But here's the thing. It's not genuine. Nope. It's actually a sneaky tactic used by narcissists to get you wrapped around their fingers. They're not really in love with you. They just want control and admiration. So, that constant flood of affection. It's more like a trap, drawing you in deeper and deeper. And before you know it, you're caught in their web of manipulation, wondering what happened to that perfect connection you thought you had. So, next time someone's pouring on the love a little too thick, Maybe take a step back and think about what their real intentions might be. Number two, mirroring and idealization. Hey, have you ever noticed how some people seem to just get you? Like they're into all the same stuff you are. They share your values and it feels like you've known each other forever. Well, that's because they might be mirroring you. See, narcissists are pretty good at this trick. They'll reflect back everything you like believe in and want, making you feel like you found your soulmate. And here's the kicker. They'll also put you up on this pedestal like you're the most amazing person in the world. But it's all part of their game. They're not really seeing the real you. They're just showing you what you want to see. And while it might feel like you're forming this deep connection, it's actually based on lies and manipulation. So next time someone seems a little too perfect, Maybe take a closer look and see if they're just mirroring your own reflection back at you. Number three, isolation tactics. Ever felt like you're drifting away from your friends and family because of someone else? Well, that might be because they're using isolation tactics on you. Emotional manipulators are sneaky like that. They'll try to keep you all to themselves by making you doubt your relationships with others. Maybe they'll say your friends aren't good for you or that your family doesn't understand you. And if that doesn't work, they might straight up tell you to stop hanging out with them. It's all about control, you see. When they isolate you from everyone else, they have more power over you. They can mess with your head, play with your emotions, and make you feel like you're all alone in the world. So, if you ever find yourself feeling cut off from the people who care about you, maybe it's time to take a step back and see if someone's been pulling the strings behind the scenes. Number four, blaming you for everything. Ever been in a situation where it feels like everything is your fault, even when it's not? Well, that might be because someone is blaming you for everything. Emotional manipulators are pros at this. They'll twist things around to make you think that every little problem is because of something you did or didn't do. It's like they're playing mind games with you, making you doubt yourself and your worth. They'll use sneaky tricks like gaslighting to mess with your head, making you question what's real and what's not. And before you know it, you're stuck in this never-ending cycle of self-doubt and guilt. It's like you're walking on eggshells, afraid to do anything wrong. But here's the thing. It's not your fault. You're not to blame for everything that goes wrong. So if someone's constantly pointing the finger at you, maybe it's time to take a step back and see the situation for what it really is. Number five, creating dependency. Ever felt like you can't make a move without someone's approval? Well, that might be because they're trying to make you dependent on them. Narcissists are pretty sneaky like that. 
They'll set things up so that you rely on them for everything, like they're your only source of validation, support, and even decision-making. It's all part of their plan to keep you under their thumb. When you're dependent on them, they have more control over you. They can pull the strings and make you dance to their tune. And the worst part? The more dependent you become, the harder it is to break free. It's like they've got you in a tight grip, and it feels almost impossible to escape. But here's the thing. You don't have to stay trapped. You have the power to break free and reclaim your independence. So, if someone's trying to make you rely on them for everything, maybe it's time to take a step back and reassess the situation. Number 6. Involving a third party. Ever felt like there's someone else lurking around in your relationship, causing trouble? Well, that might be because the person you're with is bringing in a third party. Yeah, it's not as innocent as it sounds. Narcissists do this on purpose. They'll flirt with others, make comparisons between you and someone else, or even cheat on you. It's all part of their plan to mess with your head. See, by bringing someone else into the picture, they're trying to make you jealous and insecure. It's like they want you to feel like you're not good enough, like you're constantly competing for their attention. And the worst part? It keeps you emotionally off balance, as if you're never really sure where you stand. But here's the thing. You don't have to play their game. You have the power to set boundaries and demand respect in your relationship. So, if someone's constantly bringing in a third party, maybe it's time to reassess whether they're really worth your time and energy. Number 7. Discard and pull you back. Finally, when the narcissist feels they no longer need you, they discard you callously, leaving you devastated and confused. Ever been in a relationship where one minute everything's great and the next, it's like you never existed? That's what happens when you're dealing with a narcissist. When they're done with you, they'll just toss you aside like you're nothing, leaving you feeling heartbroken and lost. But here's the kicker. They're not really done with you. Nope. They'll come crawling back, trying to suck you back into their toxic world. They'll say all the right things, promise to change, apologize for everything they did wrong, maybe even shower you with gifts. But don't be fooled. It's all just a ploy to keep you hooked. See, they thrive on this cycle of discarding and hoovering. It's like a sick game to them, keeping you trapped in their web of manipulation. But here's the thing. You have the power to break free. You don't have to keep playing their game. So if someone's constantly discarding you and then trying to pull you back in, maybe it's time to cut ties for good and find someone who truly values you. When it comes to dealing with narcissistic relationships, being aware is critical. Knowing the signs of love bombing and emotional manipulation gives you the power to break free from toxic patterns and take back control of your life. True love is about respect, trust, and understanding, not about someone trying to control you. So, if you find yourself in a situation where you feel like you're being manipulated, remember that you deserve better. Don't be afraid to walk away and find someone who truly values you for who you are. Subscribe for more videos like this. Comment down which of these you have experienced. Let's talk about it in the comments.